good morning. Um, it is Saturday morning, July 2nd, and I just got my first female pumpkin flower. There she is. There's a little pumpkin, and I just pollinated. So I found two male flowers. Uh, let's see. Here's one of the ones. Um, you can tell the difference on the inside. I had to tear the petals, but uh, there's a little pollinator thing. You can just get in there. You see, there's a inside of a male flower. I don't know if it's not know where. There's the inside of a female flower. It's a lot of yellow on that screen. It may not. There we go. A little contrast. Male. Female very obvious once you look at it um, so we've got this pollinated get in there a little pumpkin action and um, so I got in there I've used two flowers and I'm hoping that grows a night rice pumpkin right there so uh, yeah I was kind of excited to see that this morning um, I got another little female down here. Not ready yet. Uh, it's a different plant. Um, I'm going to take this. That's a stiff one there. Little cords. But someone was asking me the difference between a female and a male. And uh, if you're looking at this plant here, See how this right here is really close to the stalk, and then it's got this little fruit, a little flower on top. Well, if you look at these down here, these grow really long, and there's no fruit below them. This is male flowers. This is a female flower. Um, it's the same on this one. See how close to the stalk she is? She's right there, and then you got all these male flowers. They grow really long stalks. This one comes from here, goes all the way up to right there. There's no fruit behind those. Um, so that's how you tell the difference. So let's hope this one makes a nice little pumpkin. I got one more on here, right there. And I bought this thing, for these stupid dogs. To, they're not barking as much. So, Kaya, she's eating my four o'clock, and it's making her six. So I gotta put some kind of barrier here, and we're gonna get in there today, and I'm gonna shave him down, and we're gonna bathe her and brush her, get all that coat that's falling out, the undercoating. Ow! Hope I didn't just break my sprinkler. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of excited to see that this morning. Thought I'd miss it, you know. Uh, this one, it's got pumpkin and cantaloupe all kind of interlatched together. And they're just growing in these little containers there. Yeah, they look pretty good. It's got a little pumpkin, I mean a little cantaloupe growing on it. Starting up. And what I'll do, let's see. What I'll do is, um, I'll take that once it gets too big, put a little pair of pantyhose on it, and, um, tie a string around up here to this steel pole to help support it. Yeah, I was excited about that, though. My little, first little pumpkin flower, female, and I pollinated it with two flowers. Got it good, so I hope it takes good. Um, got some different kind of pumpkins there. Uh, these vines are starting to just really, really grow. Uh, let's see. There's another little cantaloupe. There's another little cantaloupe. I don't know if they'll make them. There's another one right over there on top of those leaves. And I'll do the same thing with them. Support them with pantyhose. Tie them off to here. Yeah. 
Uh, give it a little bit more time. It's still got ice on it. I wouldn't leave it alone for like a year, but... Sorry. Uh, and I'm trying this out. Let's see if I can keep the cats out. I'm going to put some more in there. And hopefully until my stuff can grow. So i got a few potato plants growing in there. Hopefully that'll keep those cats out of that bed until something grows. Oh, uh, let's see. Got a cucumber. Got a little pollinator in that flower. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Everything looks pretty good this morning. Um, these peppers, just, I'm just going to rip this up and yeah, unless the ones that look pitiful. There's, a, there's like three that look okay. Uh, got some little cucumbers in there. These peppers, they might, they might pull out of this funk. Um, I think I burned them with, uh, the, uh, because, I mean, this just literally happened right after. See, I don't want to destalk it too much more. So, maybe a few of these will survive. But I threw the fertilizer and thought I could rinse it off, but apparently I didn't get to it fast enough. Ah, uh, what else? Let's look. Uh, my uh, contender beans. Got quite a few growing in there. I'm hoping all these will kind of kick in at the same time and Some good looking ones on there. These Cherokee wax are starting to look pretty good. My tomatoes, uh, I'm still not sure on them. They were looking great, and now they're not looking so great. I got a few in there of color. They're not big, but we'll see. I'm having trouble with hornworms, so, um, I got some stuff to spray around the ground that should take care of those and the ants. This one here, I, I'm not sure if it's going to survive or not. It's not looking too good in that bucket there. So I may have to do away with that plant. I'll give it another day or so. Uh, there's some horn poop, so I know I got one on here somewhere. Yep, there's part of my leaves are eating. I've got to get some stuff out here sprayed. I've done picked off a bunch of them. Uh, let's see. I know he's on there. I see the evidence and the consequences of him on there. The leaves being eaten. Uh, had one totally devastated potato plant this week. I know you're in there. It's just a matter of finding you little, sorry, little behind. Anybody see him? I don't see him yet. There he is. He's a big one too. There he is. That's the culprit. He's a big one. So, we'll put him here for a minute. That's my finger. You can see about how big he is. I got pretty big hands, so. I'll get out here and check them all again a little bit. Try to keep them picked off. I try to check them twice a day because those are the only tomato plants I got there that's putting out yet. I finally labeled all my squash. I figured it out. This is my table queen. Yellow straight neck. This is my uh, gray zucchini. This one here is what they call a uh, Waltham butternut. And that right there, you know, looks, it ain't rooted in too good. And this is just my regular zucchini. This one is the one that looks so pitiful. Quick miracle. Like it's got a little mold or something on it. I don't know. Never grew in squash, but I got some flowers on it. We'll see. And, well, anyways, that one and this one I did not grow from seed. I bought them on clearance. 
And dog it off. I don't think this little bark off may be working. You know, my dogs are usually going nuts about right now. A miracle right here. See, I got that potato plant. I had a few over here. But the dadgum cats kept digging and digging and digging. And I finally just got tired of it. Looks like something's been chewing on that, trying to get underneath there. But, um, I finally had enough. Because, I mean, they just kept, they've messed up. But I got a little potato plant under there. I think I got a couple more somewhere else. They just ruined them. So, um, anyway, see where the hornworm got a hold of this potato. Look there, there's another one. I just cleaned these off yesterday. Uh, and they get on there. They don't want to let go. Look at him. A uh, little booger. Ugly uh, little booger. They like my tomatoes and potatoes. I'm pissing a spray around here. I can't handle all the hornworms. I've probably killed a dozen this week. Those two are they're just different colors. I'll let him get on up there with the other one. And my little girl likes to play with them a little bit. But I'm going to put these out here. And they'll stay on this potato bush. And I'm going to put them out here. And I'll keep an eye on them and feed the birdies. This is where my daughter feeds all the little birdies and such. So, something will jump in there and eat them in a minute. Uh, does anybody know what kind of bush this is? So I got it planted. I've been cutting it back. It keeps popping out new growth. It gets right in my dad gum way. Here's my um, pimento peppers. I moved them out in the sun. And uh, they look like they got. Something got a hold of them too, I think. Either that or that's the uh, fertilizer I threw on them. But so they look pretty good. Pimento peppers, banana peppers, and stuff that are in the bed look good. So I lost one, so I put that one in there. Um, yeah, but these I'm gonna pull up. I may put a little flower or something in these pots. That experiment didn't work out too great. Serena's little banana peppers are looking good. Got some good looking growth out here. These are banana, and this one is a bell. It's just got one bell. Put these, um, I got a milk jug with some holes. Fill it up. And we just sit it out here and let it slow drip. A couple gallons. There's a titmouse up there. That's a bird. You hear it hollering. I oh, know, I got you some worms down there. I'll leave you alone. You get them. So, I guess I'll leave you guys with a shot of uh, my pumpkin flower. Oh, there's something in there. But anyways. So, there she is. I'm proud of it because it's took a long time. So have a great day, guys. See, she's buzzing in there. Peace out. Bye.